I think it's the right decision. I think uh, she wasn't the right person to do the job. She had a number of uh, conflicts of interest in relation to this uh, inquiry. So I'm pleased that she's reached the decision that she has. Nobody was questioning her integrity, but we do need somebody who's better able to question the establishment rather than someone who's from the establishment. Do you think the Home Office really knew of the conflict of interest here when they named Dame Butler Sloss as uh, heading this inquiry? Well, we understand from the Home Affairs Select Committee this afternoon that the Home Secretary had been aware of some of the conflicts of interest, and you've got to question why she would reach the conclusion that Baroness Butler Sloss was appropriate uh, for the job. Uh, I'm pleased that she has moved on, though. though. Uh, I think what we can now do is identify a new chairperson, uh, somebody who commands respect, uh, somebody who is truly independent, uh, and most importantly, somebody who builds confidence amongst the pu public. And and, and builds confidence amongst the survivors of child sex abuse. That's, they're, they're the most important people in all of this. Regardless of Dame Butler Sloss's conflicts here, her track record suggested she was the very best person here. Well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, there's no doubt about it that the Baroness had lots of experience and lots of knowledge around uh, these issues, but we know that, uh, that she was a parliamentarian as, and it's suggested that some of the uh, potential perpetrators are parliamentarian, so there's clearly a conflict there. Uh, we know that uh, she was the brother of the Attorney General uh, who operated in the mid-1980s when many of these abuses were going on, so there was a conflict there. And then over the weekend we learned that she'd uh, been involved in this investigation around an Anglican bishop uh, and there were conflicts of interest there. So she was wholly unsuitable for this particular role. Uh, I'm sure there are many other people, and they don't have to be from the judiciary, many other people, perhaps from the third sector, who could just do uh, as an effective job. Any possible names you can think of? No, I, I've, I've avoided trying to identify someone. I would have thought that the civil servants within the Home Office uh, over the last few days have been looking at possible alternatives. This was only going in uh, one direction, and I'm sure that they will have a short list uh, uh, that can now be considered. There's so much pressure on people chairing these inquiries, and of course so much scrutiny. They can often be a bit of a thankless task. Why would anyone want to do it? Well, people get involved in public service for a whole variety of reasons and, you know, I'm sure there will be no shortage of people who want to contribute and help uh, the victims of child sex abuse. That's what it's all about. Uh, th those survivors of child sex abuse have run an excellent campaign in terms of getting this inquiry out of the government. We now need to do them justice uh, by getting the right chairperson to come forward. I don't believe for one minute uh, that there are a very limited number. I think there'll be a wider range. Of people to choose from. Simon Danchuk, thanks very much indeed.